Okay, we are going to um, rescue some little babies from one of the mouthfuls of these guys. So if you have a look at her, she has babies in her mouth. They are mouth brooders. Um, so these guys are, oh, look at her. We might do her first. She's missing her tail, but she came in that way. Um, so these guys are called Egyptian mouth brooders. I'll put the name there. There it is. They are awesome little fish. They are from the east coast of Africa, from Egypt all the way down to Tanzania. They have a roughly a neutral pH, so 6.5 to 7, just above 7. That's as big as they get, like 8 centimetres. See, it's my finger there. They're not shy. That one's shy. Um, but yeah, got a little group of... How many have we got? I think there's four boys and six girls. They are in a little tank. It's heated in here. Oh, check her out. She is about to release her baby. So if she does in this tank, they're all gonna get eaten. So we're just going to take them out of her little mouth without upsetting her too much and show you the babies and then pop them in a tank. So we will cut to that. Okay, and we're back. I have my phone sticky tape to a bucket so hopefully this will work we are going to grab her gently under the water we're going to use our little pipette thing to open her mouth squirt some water in and then the baby should come out now let's see if we can catch her i may speed this bit up if it takes forever give me it okay that is her no Okay, we've got her. We are going to uh, stay still. Gently open her mouth. Oh, there goes babies. Okay, this is not working. There they all are coming out. Sorry guys, it'll be over soon. So I'm not actually squirting water in her mouth at the moment because we don't want to upset her any more than we're upsetting her. That there is a, a bite. <laughs> I'm a naughty lizard. Don't worry, I'm not dying. It's not infected yet. There's a whole lot more. The little guys. Just position her. It's like a couple more in there. Now we're just going to put a little bit of water in. If you squirt water in the mouth, that will eject the little babies and not upset mum too much. It's better she copes with this than all her babies get eaten. Oops, sorry. She heard me and she wasn't impressed. Okay, and that is all her babies. We shall pop her in a cup so she's okay. And there are her babies down there. My horrible LED light. That is mum and the babies. So it looks like probably, oh, what have we got? Two, four, six, eight, ten. There'd probably be about 40 or so in there. So I shall cut to this and then we will pop them in a tank. Okay, I know it's super noisy in here, but this is the day after. This is the baby tank where they are, which is about 30 litres. Um, sponge filter, it's already cycled, so there's no ammonia. pH is about 6.8 or so, which is close to what the parent tank is. Lots of algae growing on my heater, but algae doesn't kill anyone. But there are the babies there. The little tiny specks you see everywhere are defrosted baby brine shrimp, which is what they've been eating. Quite a few babies, so probably close on 50, I think. I thought there was about 40. 
didn't count them because I didn't need to count them. But there we go. So they will probably take two or three months to reach adult size because they only grow to eight centimeters. But cool, if you like this video, want more random fish videos, um, subscribe to the thing there, which is my face. If you're on a computer, if you're on a phone and that, you might not see it. And then, yeah, click a new video and watch away. Thank you.